Alright, hey everyone. Um, I did a little bit of an experiment. I have been using that new Friction, that one I can't pronounce. I think this is called Friction Pen. I think it's like the heat from Friction. Anyway, I think it's just called Friction Pen. And I've been using that. I've been loving it. Although some of you have been, and I appreciate it, have been commenting that the pen will come back in cold weather. Well, I have been loving the pen so much that I was like, this just can't be. I have to figure something out. So I went on a Google search. I found someone's blog. If I can find it again, I will link it down below. And that blog got me on to two products. One's called, oh the Jeezies, um, Moshkin Blockers, Moshkin Blocks, something or other. And then the other one that they recommended was Amodex. I'm not good at pronouncing things, y'all. Anyway, so, and they basically said in the blog that, um, the pilot company who makes the friction pen tested these suckers out. And so I said, well, I'll get in on the testing. How much, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. And I have all this free time, so why not? <laughs> so, um, I sewed a, I sewed the same fabrics on just a, a scrap piece of, of whatever. I sewed every, I've got satin batiste. Swiss muslin, linen, flannel, and I've got two different colors of the Swiss muslin, two different colors of the linen, I've got some corduroy, I've got flannel, I've got two different colors of flannel, I've got broadcloth, um, two different colors of imperial batiste, and one white knit. So I did a, a, a variety, sorry that's the tractor in the background, I did a variety of fabrics and um, I squiggled all over them with the marker and then um, I put them in the, no, I squiggled in the marker, then I ironed it, the marker off, and then I put it in the freezer. And it did, I was like looking like five minutes later, still no marks. Ten minutes, still no marks. I let it go for about two hours and maybe longer. Then the marks were there when I opened it up. And so I put the Marshkin bloggers, it must be German on that one, and then I put the ammo decks on this one. Now, I will say that just after like using them, okay, this one definitely smells better. This one kind of smells like just like a little fresh laundry smell. Whereas this one smells, and it says it's water-based and biodegradable formula and all that sort of stuff, but then also says like flammable eye and skin irritant. Now I use it without any gloves and it did not irritate my skin at all. Um, and it did not bother my eyes. I didn't put it in my eyes, but it didn't, you know, make my eyes water or anything. It's sort of, it's sort of like, um, like a rubbing alcohol or something where it's not terrible, the smell isn't terrible, but it's not something you're going to want to wear as perfume. You know, it's one of those. So anyway, so this was much easier to use though, because this was like a, a spray form, and this is kind of a thicker form that you kind of have to like rub in and whatever. So what I did was I sprayed this guy onto this one, I sprayed, or I rubbed in this one into this one, and um... To keep things easy, like to keep things fair, not easy, but keep, to keep things fair, since this one's that I had to like do a brush, um, I use a brush on both. So what I did was I took a, like an old toothbrush and I scrubbed into both, which is not ideal for a lot of situations, right? Like if you had some embroidery work or whatever, you would not want to take a brush to that thing. So I would say because of that reason, this one is out. Now this one, um, you can spray on rinse out and if you had any marker left spray on and rinse out again and so then you can avoid the brush altogether so I lean towards this one um, having used both of them like I said this one smells a little bit better it does not smell terrible it just smells like rubbing alcohol or something like that any rate um, but yeah I did this little experiment and I will show I'll do a close-up of these things
ink is gone except for a few spaces on the ammo decks so oh so that also says that, that this one does work better or maybe i just missed those spots with the brush i don't know but both the linens have a little bit of spotting on the ammo decks one as well as the knit and the broadcloth um yeah those are the only ones now on the what's it called moshkin blockers it is the ink is gone like on every single one and i don't even see those ghost marks that can be left behind like i've got white satin batiste i've got white white swiss flannel i've got white linen there's no marks no ghost marks white knit there's no ghost marks on any of them so i am fairly impressed with this thing i will link both down below you can um take it for what it's worth basically what i think what this means though is that while i prefer that pen it's still not the perfect solution Ooh, and Audrey's waking up. So, I hope this video was helpful. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, that's my cue.